What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Katie Cap a lot back at it again with another video today. And today, we are going to be reacting to the most disrespectful moments in NBA history. Now, I watched the first like 50 seconds, like one minute of this video, but uh, it's because I was trying to record before, but I had an issue, so I had to, re I had to reset the video. Now, I'm gonna use a green screen for this video. I probably won't use it again because the hand, like, I don't know how to fix the hand situation. If anybody could help me with that, ah, you could, like, you know what I'm saying, tell me what to do, but. It's just messed up, bro. Like, I don't know how to fix these proportions when my hands are green. If you can see that, I don't know if it's fixed or not in this video because it was doing that in the OBS by itself. But let's get into the video, though. From fighting fans to stealing a player's wife, these are the most disrespectful moments in NBA history. I saw, I saw no Russell Westbrook already. I saw this already. About Russell Westbrook but he's first. crazy for this one, he though. Like, wait and see. One of the most disrespectful moments ever. In 2019, the Thunder were facing the Jazz. And Utah fans have always been violent with their <laughs> trash talk. During a late season game against the Westbrook Thunder, crazy, they tried bro. to get in Westbrook's head. But he's my it favorite, was Early though. in the second quarter, Westbrook was over by the On bench. The Wizards, no. Fans started yelling racial things at him, even though the cameras were rolling. Obviously, <laughs> Russell Westbrook is not the guy to play with, and eventually, he had enough. <laughs> Damn, That's still funny though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't see after this. This is where I stopped. His wife too. The A this man. This moment was huge for Westbrook. It shifted his game. It was like the hate fueled him, and he went off, scoring 23 points yes, and carrying the Thunder to a 98-89 win. After Go, the bro. game, Westbrook explained exactly what happened. I was starting with this young man and his wife in the stands told me to get in on my knees like he used to. And for me, that's just completely disrespectful. That yeah, is disrespectful. I think it's just inappropriate in a sense. Facts. There's no protection for the players. It sounds like these fans got off easy. Tried to disrespect I wouldn't have blamed Russ for swinging on them. And for those fans, they were on wow. camera, so they got what they deserved. A lifetime ban from the Vivint Arena. But Westbrook isn't always the victim. Sometimes he's the one throwing shots. Back in 2015, the Thunder took on the Warriors. And during that game, Westbrook had 17 points, 17 assists, and 15 rebounds. Oh, I remember that dunk. That's very iconic. Win. Well, kind You're of like pretty sure, I guess. Doing that it's well not a lot. And winning the game, but you know, Barry videos. Trammell was there. You know, the guy from this clip. What goes on when he goes to the bench? Why is Houston so successful? And it's, it's a legitimate question. You. Next question. It's a legitimate question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> no, I think we won't keep the microphone. I had a question for Steve. I had a question for Steven. Westbrook's a team player. He doesn't want anyone on his team feeling not good enough. I admire that, man. So, following Westbrook's win, Barry was there to interview, and Westbrook was not having it. Are you upset with something? Should be upset. I just don't like you. <laughs> you don't? No. Do you not like Nick either? I love Nick, but I don't like you. Damn, Russell, that was just me. But you know who isn't? Imagine. Me? That's Stephen not even disrespectful. That's not. He or he was in the right, at in least my that's opinion. That's what I thought. You wouldn't have expected Steph to instigate one of the most disrespectful moments in NBA history. But it came during the 2018 NBA out. Finals. The Warriors were up one to zero against the Cavs. You could tell Cleveland's Curry morale was ruined from I'm not game about to get no free PS5. So That's game a whole two, scam. Golden State came out ready and tried to dominate them from the start. The Warriors started off with the lead and didn't slow down. It was neck and neck all the way until the ending of the third quarter, with them up 90 to 80. With three seconds left, the ball was inbounded to Steph Curry. And as he fired up a shot, he almost tripped over Kendrick Perkins' leg. Now, us knowing Steph, this is the worst disrespect possible. The man Wait, suffered devastating injuries oh. his entire career. And yeah, we could ruin I, I, everything. I like it hurt. We don't know if Kendrick did it on purpose, but for Steph, he thought Kendrick was playing dirty to help the Cavs win. So Steph clowned him and asked, you ain't playing tonight? Of course he's not playing, Steph. The man's in a suit, and he only played one game the whole season. Then Kendrick got up and said, I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Whew, damn. This clip went so viral, fans started making t-shirts of the altercation. So eventually, Kendrick had to defend himself. We got to talk to you about this. What happened on the bench? But first of all, I, I don't know what I did wrong, right? I'm sitting down. I didn't move. I didn't do nothing. He's I'm right. He didn't do anything. He said that I tried to trip him. I'm he like, didn't. bro, I didn't move my leg. I didn't he didn't. My leg. I was sitting the same way the whole time. That's you factual. I told him, I said, Steph, man, chill out, man. For real, if I make you smell my cologne. Now, I, I don't know what exactly he meant by yeah. smelling his cologne it's mad but, weird. Uh, 
Uh, I ain't trying to find out. But anyways, LeBron was right there too, and Steph didn't want those problems either. I mean, LeBron isn't afraid to put people in their place. He's had to do it plenty of times. One time back in 2017, when the Cavs were taking on the Bulls, LeBron was LeBron on a mission crazy. to prove Let's who's find out. really the GOAT that night. He was getting whatever he wanted. Layups, dunks, hitting his shots. Bro, he's playing the Bulls. What do you the expect? Dude, they're trying. Down. But <laughs> when you're feeling it, Especially everyone at this else age, has got to bring you right back down. Man, they were For terrible. LeBron, an angry fan got disrespectful with him to try and ruin his mood. Shut up, stop crying. You lost Kyrie. You lost D-Rose. I remember. I've seen it before. Dipped on you. Huh? Damn. I seen that one. Brown walked out with dude's girl too. Cause right after this, he went off for 23 points, seven rebounds, six assists, and blew out the Bulls, 113 to 9. I mean, he's gonna blow them out regardless. They're trash. They just watched LeBron get that much closer to becoming the goat. So when LeBron came back in 2019, Bulls fans had nothing but disrespect. And that's why a Bulls fan tried to do him dirty. But you know LeBron, he doesn't take no bullshit. The Lakers came into Chicago on a five-game winning streak. Ooh, that but things was nice. were different this time. The Bulls were dominating the Lakers from the start. LeBron was doing everything he could. Okay. But by the fourth quarter, the Bulls were still leading. 93 the to 80. Bro, that's sad. No way. I mean, they were better at LeBron that point. Took I guess they got better. I mean, he looked like MJ out there. No one could stop him. Dropping 30 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. Cash probably he made the so Bulls happy like when he watched it. He, probably, he had to watch the game. He's like, he like, oh my God, yes, LeBron, LeBron going off. I know that man was going the crazy. Up it's assuming it's cash. And obviously, LeBron was happy with the game he just had. LeBron getting but old. One weirdo in the crowd wasn't going to let him enjoy it. This fan did the most messed up thing imaginable. He didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. How could you? All Trying I to finesse. Life is Trying to finesse. So please, drop a like and subscribe. <laughs> but uh, that Bulls fan also tried clowning LeBron. So LeBron had to show him what happens when you bring your girl to his game. Doesn't, wait, does LeBron not have a wife? <laughs> Damn, this dude could have lost his girl that night. Hold on, I mean, hold on. Who's she gonna pick? Why is LeBron James that an option? Yeah, he does have a wife. I thought I was bugging. So why are they bringing up an option of him stealing people's girlfriends? Come on now. You or LeBron? But what's really crazy is that Kevin Garnett actually stole someone's girl. I mean, things got so bad, the police had to get involved. And it all started back in 2013 during a game between the Celtics and the Knicks. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, Boston was up 82 to 75, and Amari Stoudemire was at the free throw line. As soon as he shot it, Carmelo and Kevin instantly fought for the rebound, and they got tangled up. Hey, yo. Even though Carmelo was the one hugging on KG, Garnett was called for the foul. He was <laughs> pissed. And you already know he wouldn't let the refs. Hear hey, Carmelo, my out. favorite, favorite, favorite of all time, even though you know, the next few this is down back for me with my favorite people, of all, of my favorite floor, year, people in the NBA. This is down back horrendously. It's good to be competitive, but these guys were doing the most. They were slamming into each other, throwing cheap shots. My eyes are starting to water, bro. The paint, Carmelo had enough. The two started yelling at each other as they ran up the court. And Kevin yelled, Hey, your wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, out of all the cereals, Kevin chose Honey Nut Cheerio. Um, after that disrespectful, KG's wrong for that, you know. He violated my man's, my man's Carmelo Anthony. Not to mention that Honey Nut Cheerios. That's the type of comment that makes you be like, "So you mean to tell me?" Honey Nut Cheerios? So that's what we're doing right now? That's disrespectful. That's Is he wrong. saying she that's tastes bite. like that's nothing? Bite. Regardless, if a man told you what your wife tasted like in the middle of an NBA game, if she even responds with any type of like, yeah, well, or like she knows, pissed. she's done. But she's he decided gone. he was going to take care of Kevin off camera. And surprisingly, the refs let everything play out, just dishing out a couple of texts. But Carmelo was so mad, he couldn't just let it go. So I'll be mad game, too. He showed up to the locker room to try and fight Kevin Garnett. Oh, damn. I don't but blame him though. Security did their job. I don't blame him at all. They kept Kevin safe. Let's face the facts for here. For now.
because my boy Carmelo, Carmelo was decided in he wasn't hey. gonna sleep tonight until he beat the shit out of Garnett. <laughs> so he went as far as following the Celtics team to their bus, and that's when this happened. Who won that game? I want to know who won the game. That could really tell you what's going on right here. If you lost the game, that would make you even more NYPD uh, angry. Officers, the entire arena security staff and Knicks coach Mike Woodson to get things under control. Jesus, Carmelo don't play about his baby mama. But after Carmelo had some time to chill blame out, him. he told reporters, I lost my cool. It's just something you don't say to another man. Carmelo That's doesn't right. mind making a scene when he's putting someone in their place. But I know one guy in the NBA that's even crazier. And he goes by the name of Kyrie Dredrick Irving. I mean, you don't know what to expect from him at any point. So it's no surprise he's been involved in some pretty disrespectful moments. One moment came before the 2020 season even started. Kyrie was tired of the media twisting his words. And he let everyone know about it when he posted on Instagram, I don't talk to pawns. My attention is worth more. Oh, let's read, let's read this. I've had enough of someone else's propaganda. I'm for truth, no matter who tells it. I'm for justice, no matter who's it for or against. I'm a human being first and foremost, and as such, I am for whoever and whatever benefits humanity as a whole. Malcolm X, Year X. I pray we utilize the fine money for the marginalized communities in need, especially seeing we where we are, where our world is presently. I am I am for peace love and greatness so stop distracting me and my team and appreciate the art we move different over here i don't talk to pawns my attention is worth more this dude's been more focused on chess than basketball what the hell's going on put the queens and knights down and pick up a damn basketball dredrick sorry i lost my cool no players ever disrespected the media like this and Kyrie was slapped with $25,000 in fines Damn. by the NBA because of this. I mean, it's a matter of him, but it, it's not a question in his pocket. Enough, he's rich. Kyrie went off the grid and couldn't be reached. Nobody, oh, yeah, I remember this now. Nobody, not even his auntie, could get a hold of him. Then, out of nowhere, he went viral. Wait a minute. I can't even pick my groceries up without a damn mask? And this man's out partying? Pfft, disrespectful. Not only was Kyrie- Bro, I hate- Okay, let's, fe let's face the facts right now. People would be like, oh, mask this, mask that. Uh, how dare you go out and party without a mask on? I know for a fact, everybody who says, oh, I'm, uh, how dare you be a celebrity and you're partying, you're going out to parties, you're not saying a good example for the youth. Bro, I know damn well a good portion of them, probably half of them, are going out and partying and doing exactly what they're saying for him not to do. I don't agree with any of that stuff with the partying because I know people are capping, but people are lying. People are definitely going out to parties, bro. There's lots of parties happening. And I know for a fact that somebody in the comments of a post or a YouTube video or anything like that, they are definitely talking about how he shouldn't be partying because he's a celebrity and he's setting a bad example for the kids, but they're going out and partying. They're taking their kids to parties and they're capping. I'm just saying. Kyrie unreachable, but he was disobeying NBA rules. So Kyrie had to pay an $840,000 fine for it. $840,000. That's what the NBA gets when someone disrespects them. Man, I that might have hurt his pockets a little bit. A little bit. Anyways, I think he's done more money than that. Kyrie finally decided to stop playing chess and pick up a basketball again. The first thing he did was try and redeem himself. People didn't have much respect for him anymore. They thought he was crazy now. And he wanted that to change. So he apologized to the media okay. and got back to playing the best basketball of his career. And when he returned to his old arena in Cleveland, they welcomed him with a tribute video. Okay, that's nice. At the end, you could see Kyrie flipping off the invisible crowd with his ring finger. Now, he could have just been showing the ring he won for Cleveland, or he was saying he's got another ring coming with Brooklyn. So honestly, it's pretty disrespectful knowing that he promised Cleveland he'd never leave in the first place. Are you going to leave us in Cleveland? <sighs> yeah, that's messed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great question. Um, Kyrie's the bro. No. Kyrie's the biggest capper. I think Kyrie's worse than KD at this point. Now I know what KD did caused him to get like a bunch a, a good point. He got like three rings, I think, from that or two, something like that. But Kyrie is a snake. He lied about leaving teams so much. He lied about leaving Cleveland. He lied about leaving Boston. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's gonna lie about leaving about leaving Brooklyn, bro. 
He just has a bad history with lying, bro. He loves lying about leaving teams. He's a liar. This poor kid. Natural born liar. Did Kyrie and LeBron <laughs> leave, but since they left, Cleveland's entire economy dropped by 14%. What do you, I it's mean, crazy it's Cleveland, bro. Without Kyrie, and, city. without so, Kyrie. And, this kid um, doesn't get a Christmas present. It's LeBron and Kyrie's fault. Without Seriously, Kyrie guys. and LeBron, the, the cap are nothing. Kids. Literally. But anyways, Kevin Love is not that good in like, general, to carry the whole team. Weird, Clearly. Unpredictable is he going to the team There's anymore? No I can't remember. This dude At this point, will do he's done bad with Like recently, out of nowhere, Kyrie changed his name. He doesn't even go by Kyrie Irving anymore. What? Oh, oh you want to hear more about that? Oh, I got you, dog. Check out this video right here. See Wait, you. what? Bro, I'm getting... I'm not watching this video in this video. But let's look up what Kyrie Irving's new name is. Hold up, hold up. See, capped because he it says Kyrie Irving clearly. I don't even know, but hey, man, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Probably no more green screen after this, unless you guys want me to keep doing it. And I'm out, bro. Peace.